Hey guys, it's Stinger from the Ghost Squadron Airsoft team, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about protecting your optic lenses with custom-made Lexan shields. Most people don't bother protecting the lenses on their cheap red dot sights or flashlights. However, those of us who spend upwards of $100 on optics may want to protect our investments. The most popular method is the use of an aftermarket rail-mounted protector that can be bought from most airsoft retailers. However, these have several issues. They don't provide full seal lens protection, and they act more as sacrificial lenses than as shields, as they are typically made of inexpensive and weak plastics. The ideal solution is a piece of Lexan which has been custom cut to be mounted directly to the optic itself. Lexan is extremely strong and relatively cheap when bought in sheets from a home improvement store. The process of creating a custom Lexan shield for your optic is fairly straightforward. Because members of my team often use the same equipment, I have made templates which allow me to rapidly cut an accurate shield specific to optics that we commonly use. In this video, however, I will show you my process for making a shield without a template. The most common use of Lexan shields is on red dot and holographic sites, but I will start with the shield I made for my Streamlight TLR1, as it's more straightforward. I started by using a circle template sheet to approximate the diameter of the TLR1 lens. I marked the Lexan sheet using the template. Using a bandsaw, I cut the Lexan along the marked route. It's very difficult to cut curves using a bandsaw, so I would recommend another tool. However, it is possible. Once I had cut the route, I used a bench grinder to finish the curves. Test fit the Lexan in the light and use the bench grinder to adjust it as needed. To adhere Lexan to optics, I use silicon gutter sealant. This provides flexible adhesion and a full seal which can keep out dust and moisture. While a full seal is ideal for sights, it's bad for lights. Lights build up heat and air trapped between the Lexan and the lens of the sight can get very hot. This can cause the lens to crack. To allow venting, I drilled two small holes in the Lexan. I then cleaned the Lexan and coated the circumference of the Lexan shield in silicon sealant. I placed the Lexan in the light and used the needle point tool to add any additional silicon around the edge of the Lexan. I allowed at least 12 hours for the silicon sealant to cure. After it cured, I removed any extra sealant and cleaned the Lexan shield. The process for making a Lexan shield for my sight mark hollow sight is considerably more complex. While rectangles are easy to cut, curved corners present a challenge. I started by measuring the height and width of the sight's lens. To accurately approximate the radius of the corners of the rectangle, I used a circle template. This allowed me to draw a cutting route on a Lexan sheet. I cut along this route using a bandsaw. I used a bench grinder to refine the edges and round out the corners. I had to test fit and modify the Lexan shield multiple times. After it fit, I cleaned it. I used the suction cup on the end of a Nerf dart to handle the Lexan shield while applying silicon sealant to its edges. Once installed, I applied any additional sealant needed and allowed it to cure for at least 12 hours. After it cured, I removed any extra sealant the result is a fully sealed lens shield that is inexpensive and very strong. If you have any recommendations for future tech videos, please comment. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.